Hello, my name's Liam from Burton's Medical Equipment and I'm going to do a walkthrough of the new UMEC 12 multi-parameter monitor. This is the monitor that has superseded the iMEC 8. I'd just like to talk about a few of the accessories that you get when purchasing the new UMEC monitor. Um, we'll start off with the SPO2 cable and you will also receive a small pulse ox clip as well. Move on to the ECG lead which you will also receive ECG clips as well. Then we will move on to the blood pressure hose, which you can attach your cuffs to. And we also get a whole range of cuffs with the monitor. And we have our temperature probe. Moving on, we have our water trap, which is complete with the sampling hose. We have our ET tube connector. And we also have our scavenging kit here as well. As part of this demonstration, I would like to show you how to install the battery. And to do this, you will require a small Phillips screwdriver. Once we have the monitor turned round, we need to remove this flap. And we take our Phillips screwdriver we just undo the screw. Like so. We'll then take our battery and place it onto the connector. Like so. We'll then take our flap again. Like so, we'll place our screw back in. And then screw back on. We'll then take our flap. And put that on. Like so. I'm now going to show you how to attach the moisture trap. You will see there are two holes on the back. To attach it, we just lift up the grey clip and slot on like that. The grey clip will then secure that in place. To take it out, we just lift the clip again and pull out like that. Next, I will show you how to attach the sampling line. To do this, you will see a lure lock connector. We just place on like this and twist to secure. On the other end of the sampling line, you will see another lure lock connector. And this is where we attach our ET tube connector. So we push on there and twist the same way. Next, I will show you how to attach the blood pressure hose. You will see on one end there is a metal end and other side a plastic end. We will slot this into where it says NIPP. It's important to mention that if you are requiring invasive blood pressure, we do have alternate machines that allow you to do this. This is a non-invasive blood pressure cuff. To attach, we will just slot onto the plastic end of the blood pressure hose and there are a range of blood pressure cuff sizes included in the accessories. As standard, the UMEC comes with a three lead ECG cable. However, a five lead cable is also available. To attach the accessory to the monitor, we simply make sure that the arrow is facing upright and into the green port. This is the SPO2 cable and it comes with two different sizes of lingual, sen lingual sensor holders. And to attach, we just line up the arrow and the blue end into the blue port. This is the temperature probe. You can use this esophageal or rectal. And as you can see on the monitor, there are two temperature ports. I would advise 
using T1. And you can also use a second probe if you wanted to do a temperature differential. Also available for the UMEC is a scavenging, scavenging kit that comes with two connectors to allow you to connect to a waste gas canister or an inline active scavenging system to connect this to the monitor we simply push on to there like so and we attach the other end of the hose to the connector to turn the UMEC on you will see a power button located on the side of the monitor we press that and we will let the UMEC boot up The UMEC is touch screen and we can change anything on the screen simply by tapping on it and a drop down box will appear. And we can change all the parameters to how we would like it. For example, if we were to change our interval time on the blood pressure, we can do that by simply pressing on the blood pressure at the bottom and we can change our interval time to how we like it. Most people usually leave it on five minutes. Another thing we can also change is the weight range and we can do that by selecting the drop down menu there. To turn off any alarms, we simply tap on the trace and go to alarm setup. And on here, we can turn most of our alarms off. However, we can't turn off any critical alarms. We can silence them by pressing this button here, which will silence your alarms for 120 seconds. It's important to note that the trolley is an optional extra. And if you were to purchase the machine, full in practice training will be provided thanks for watching